All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I bought a selfie stick. Oh, boy. Did I tell you I bought... Now, this is your second selfie stick, right? This is my... Well, the first one didn't have the button on the bottom, so we have some issues with that. But this one, this one's perfect. Uh, is uh, Holly with us? Yes, she is. Holly is with us. Holly Bailey has written a brand new book called Mercy of the Sky. It's the inside account of that 2013 tornado in Moore, Oklahoma. Good morning, Holly Bailey. Good morning. Uh, take remind us what how bad that tornado was in 2013. Well, it was a mile wide tornado um, with winds around 200 miles per hour. Um, it took aim at this town south of Oklahoma City um, and killed 25 people and injured several hundred people. Um, and among the people that were killed were the, the tornado had flattened two elementary schools um, where kids were still in school because the tornado had hit so early in the day and, and seven little kids died. Mm -hmm. The picture on the cover of the book, The Mercy of the Sky, that is one of the most uh, scariest pictures I've ever seen in terms of a tornado. Yeah, I mean, it's, and that's what they look like. I mean, it's just sort of a, a cloud sort of lowering to the ground, and, and that's the sort of mystery of a tornado. I mean, you never really know if it's going to drop to the ground or not. It's just this really black, ugly cloud that sort of stalks along the landscape, and you sort of have to wait and see what it will do. Uh, you live in New York now, but you grew up in Oklahoma? Is that right? Yeah, yeah, I grew up, and I'm from Oklahoma City, and I actually went to school and more for... Um, until I was around 14 years old. So and, this is my hometown. And I also wanted, on full disclosure, you went to the University of Oklahoma, I went to the University of Nebraska, and yet we're still having a very civil conversation. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> in, time. In, honor, in honor of the old Big Eight, we're having a, a nice conversation. What was the <laughs> idea, Holly? What did you want to tell? What story did you want to tell in this book? Well, I, you know, I, like you mentioned, I live in New York now, and so every time one of these storms hits anywhere in the Midwest, and including St. Louis, I mean, I still remember when the tornado hit. That was hmm. not Howard. Lost her again. Oh, that was Howard. That was not Howard. Uh, yeah. We will try and get Holly Bailey back. She has written a brand new book called Mercy of the Sky. It's a story of a tornado. And, um, you know, these tornadoes sort of, we had that tornado up in Ferguson, remember, a couple mm -hmm. years ago? Mm -hmm. That wreaked havoc that you could drive down the street and see just a swath of mm -hmm. trees that were just sort of taken out. Um, you know, we live in, I don't know if we officially live in Tornado Alley, but we live in where we're constantly worried about tornadoes. Holly, are you back? Yes, I am. I don't know what happened about that. Sorry about that. But um, to get back to what I was saying, I mean, I people always ask, you know, why do people live in these places, and how can they live in a place where it's so stormy and where literally, you know, tornado can drop out of the sky and kill you? And so um, that was sort of one of the reasons I wrote this story. But also, I happened to go back um, and and cover more. And I used to cover the White House um, for Newsweek magazine, and I had traveled with President Bush and President Obama to all kinds of disaster zones, and so nothing, I, you know, I had seen something like this before, but it's different when it's your hometown, and so I kind of wanted to tell the story of this town, you know, more, which has been hit so many, by so many tornadoes, but also sort of explain the strange, you know, relationship that people have with the weather there, and, and, and so on. Uh, you grew up wanting to be a storm chaser, so have you ever chased a storm? Um, I have tried when I was younger. <laughs> I actually, and this is a terrible thing to say, but I, I joke often that I deflect tornadoes or something, um, because I, when I was a kid, I always wanted to see one, and that's sort of, I mean, everybody in Oklahoma, you know, when they sort of have a strange relationship with weather and that, you know, they admire the storms and they want to see them, but they're also scared to death of them, and so that's definitely, you know, I was in that, definitely in that camp, um, but you know, I've never seen one, and even when I went back to write the work on the book, it happened to be the, the lowest tornado year in, 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 the, in the recorded history. So I don't know what that says have, <laughs> about me and tornadoes. Torn we've come a long way from when we were kids, even when we were kids, in sort of not necessarily knowing exactly when, but at least in, in terms of a warning system. Um, and yet these people in Moore, Oklahoma, still choose to live their life. How much did the early warning systems uh, save those people in Moore, Oklahoma that, that, that day? 
I mean, it was, you know, while it's terrible that 25 people died, you know, hundreds more could have been potentially killed. I mean, people knew that this storm was going to be a stormy day, you know, hours ahead of time. And when even before the tornado would drop to the ground, the local television stations went to back-to-back coverage, and they had their the Oklahoma City cover storms in a way that no other city does. They scramble helicopters into the sky. It's kind of like L.A. and car chases in which they, you know, they follow tornadoes and helicopters, which is quite something. And so people knew for hours ahead of time that this is coming, and they got out of the way. They, many people went to get their kids out of school and, and drove to the north to escape this, this killer storm. And so I believe that it was that the tornado, the tornado siren started sounding about 40 minutes or something before the tornado actually hit more. And that's incredible if you really think about it, because it used to be that you only really knew a storm was happening if your neighbor's house, you know, across the street was blown off. You know, it's, it's, it's really astounding how far things have come. But scientists are working to improve that even more to try to understand the mystery of the tornado. I mean, it's one of those, you know, I think people think we know a lot more about tornadoes than we actually do. But many scientists, you know, it's only, they only know just a little bit. They don't know why certain storms will drop a tornado while others won't, and they're scrambling to try to understand so that people will even be even more safe. The book is called The Mercy of the Sky. Holly Bailey, our guest. Last question for you, Holly. Uh, what is the most popular tourist attraction in the state of Oklahoma? Um, it's the National Weather Service, actually, <laughs> which is down in Norman. Um, it's the way the severe storm labs are located, and it happens to be on the OU campus. Sorry. <laughs> but, <laughs> Um, but it's, you know, people go down from all over the country, go down there to see it. Um, and it's, you know, it's just, I guess, another testament to, you know, people's obsession with the weather. Yeah, really. I never would have mm. guessed that the National mm. Weather Service would be the biggest tourist attraction in Oklahoma, yeah. much more than the Cowboy Hall of Fame in Oklahoma City, I'm assuming. Yeah, and, and I mean, even the, the, the 1995 bombing site, the Alfred T. Murray Federal bombing yeah. site. Yeah, really interesting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Holly Bailey, I yeah. uh, can't wait to read the book. The book is called The Mercy of the Sky, The Story of a Tornado. Holly, good luck, and uh, thanks for checking in. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. 851 here, Big 550, KTRS, St. Louis. Hi, Martin Kilcoyne here, inviting you to 